Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope this video find everyone doing well and in good spirits. Guys, we're doing good and uh, we're not going to be before you long. I'm going to share what we're having for a Sunday meal and I don't know whether or not Tuck going to be able to get it up or not, but um, whatever. This is what we're having and uh, I'm going to, like, we're going to be kind of quick with this meal because we're expecting some uh, bad weather down this way. Tuck had ran up to his daddy house um, this morning while I was cooking and he said when he was on his way back, he ran into some rain. So, you know, it's looking pretty rough out there and sometimes when you are fooling with uh, electronics and stuff like that, if the weather is kind of bad out here, it will interfere with it. Uh, interfere with the uh, reception. Is that the right word? Putting it in yes. it? Uh -huh. And all that. And uh, flipping and flopping and blanking and stuff. So I said, since I'm all, I've gotten this far with the, with the meal, I'm going to go ahead on and share it with the guys. And Tuck is going to share with you guys um, about his, uh, his daddy's 90th birthday celebration that we did on our Sunday, March the 8th. Was it the 8th? 10th. March the 10th. Last Sunday. Well, his birthday is what, the 11th? Yeah, it was that Monday. Was that Monday? Okay. Yeah, it was on last Sunday. So guys, let me go ahead on with you. Uh, go ahead on with the meal. Shout out to all the young cousins and stuff that we met on, uh, on uh, last Sunday. Enjoyed you young ladies to the highest. We took pictures. Wasn't able to share it because I didn't take any of my uh, video equipment up there. And uh, But we was taking pictures. And uh, Tuck couldn't get it um, to go over on the uh, computer so I can share it in my videos. But he had a niece to share the pictures on, uh, on Facebook. Facebook. So she shared some on Facebook. I really didn't get to take any pictures. My son and my daughter was there. And my son and stuff was taking a few pictures or whatever. But uh, anyway, it was a beautiful celebration. Everybody was in good spirits because we were so thankful. And even my father-in-law, he was too. Because, you know, he started just, I'm like, well, he the oldest. So I'm like him. I don't believe in all this driving away from home and all of this stuff. When you get a, a particular age, you don't care for all of that stuff. But he enjoyed, he thoroughly enjoyed it to the highest. So guys, let me tell you what we're having for dinner today. And um, then Tuck will, tell, will come to you and say whatever he want to say. Okay, I got some collards out the garden, guys. And I fried them with just a... I think I put just a little meat that I have strictly for seasoning that I've let got a little rancid and it just give it that old fashioned flavor. So that's the way I put that. I didn't put any ham hocks or anything in them and they are absolutely delicious. And of course, Tuck wanted some pork chops. We got some pork chops and we got some cream style corn and we have some um, uh, just a few hot water cornbread patties and then for dessert we have a dessert today guys I got a lot of crust to try to get out and eat <laughs> and um because I've already tasted but we got a peach cobbler which is absolutely delicious and then for the beverage we got uh some uh, sweet tea sweet iced tea and I'm gonna have I'm going to have some beets and I got a tomato over here that I need to use up I'm going to be having that and uh, some sweet onions that I have. And I'm going to be having that alongside my meal. So, okay, guys, that's what we're having today. Wish you could share it here with me. It's just a simple meal, but I tell you what. When you eat something like this, this old school stuff, it lays just where you put it. And if you got the taste for it, it'd be so satisfying to you. I know for me it do because I've been eating just, you know, I call it junky junky type eating, not really, uh, you know, cooking a, 
a meal and stuff like that. And that stuff do not satisfy me. I went to several of fast food restaurants and because we've been out a lot, out and about a lot. And I picked up some, um, you know, picked up some soup food and I was like, oof, what a waste of money. And Tucker tell you, I can't, I can't. Some people can make do and eat it, but I just can't. I stopped at a Jack's, uh, we stopped at a Jack's restaurant when we was out. Was that yesterday or Friday when we went up to Hunt see? Friday. Yeah, that was Friday. Okay. And uh, I didn't even know they had a uh, Jack's restaurant back in this time, my hometown. It, they used to have one there years ago. And I know it's been every bit of 40 years since it had closed down and went down, went went away wherever it went. And they used to have delicious food there. Ooh, the corn, the chicken, and the uh, hamburgers and stuff. So when uh, Tuck mentioned that, I was pretty well excited about it. But um, anyway, I got it, and it was just the ant. Uh, ant meaning that I is still in the refrigerator. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't really, you know, I taste them and everything. I like, oh my God, I didn't eat it. So, okay, guys, I'm going to turn it over to Tuck, and he's going to tell you guys whatever. He's going to share with you guys whatever he want to share about his dad's 90th birthday. Okay, guys. Mamie, did you mention about having the uh, cream corn? Oh, well, if I didn't mention it, guys, we're having some cream corn um, along with the meal. You'll see it on the plate, but Tuck said I didn't mention it. I don't know if so I recall if you did or not. I might not have. I could have went uh, straight to the cornbread. You know how I do sometimes. But we have in there cream, uh, cream corn, cream, cream style fried corn. Okay. All right. Yes, guys. As May may have uh, mentioned already, we had a wonderful time last Sunday uh, sharing uh, with our dad on his uh, 90th birthday dinner. Uh, we had it in Montgomery, uh, Alabama. I have two sisters that live up there and one of them uh, uh, hosted at her home and uh, Did a beautiful job. of course uh, uh, my father don't live there. He lives, uh, uh, most if any of you from around this area know, he lives in Troy and we live south of Troy. So we all had to uh, have to get him ready and and get him to Montgomery to celebrate his, his uh birthday and you have to know my dad to know that it's it's not an easy task to get him to go somewhere and 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 especially to get ready to go somewhere like that but but uh it worked out we got him uh clothing and everything ready for him to go and I was totally pleasantly surprised that when I got up there to get ready to, to pick him up. Didn't have to do a whole lot. He was just about ready and everything like that. So yeah, he had his so, bath. Yeah, he had it, got his bath and everything. He had his clothes and stuff that we had, had uh, purchased for him to wear to to, to the uh, birthday dinner and everything like that. So we just had to do a little touch up. So it wasn't 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 much at all, but but once he got there and we got him there and everything, he he gave uh, May May. A good earful of talking and everything on the way up there. It's some she, good she, talk too. <laughs> she he gave her stuff that she learned a lot of stuff about our family and stuff going on on the way uh, up up to uh, Montgomery. But once we uh, got there and everything, he we got him out and got him everything. He got to seeing everybody that was there. Uh, he got what he was enjoying. He kept, he actually about that seven days that that you have a good time. He said, I did. I enjoy. I'm glad I went. Now I'm glad I went. He had you know, his sisters there. Yeah, he had two, two, uh, well, two of his sisters there. He only, I think, he has uh, only three uh, sisters that's uh, left living. That's, that's living right and now. And his sister-in-law, Aunt and Cook, her, was there. Yeah, his sister-in-law, Aunt Cook, and uh, his sister from Birmingham. His sister that was from uh, from uh, Shady, Grove. Shady Grove area, which is uh, his, his hometown. And they are uh, real close. And some of their children and and. Uh, and which would be some of his nieces and nephews, and they had one of his sisters that has passed. Uh, some of her children that was was there that that actually lived in Montgomery. Who are you talking about? Oh, and Angel, her, 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 her children yeah, there, and, uh, sister, yeah. and of course some of uh, 
it's just a, I wish you had if you can see the pictures on Facebook you can see how much my dad and his sisters look look alike oh, so wow. much so and that uh, I really uh, we, hate we can't share yeah, some of those pictures with you guys. We really had a nice time. It was real festive, real nicely decorated for him, and everything like this. And he ate well. That was in the house, but Daddy yeah. stayed outside. Yeah, we had to sit all up in the house for him to eat and everything, and come outside with chairs and everything. We said, and, and he just really enjoyed himself, and and got to see a lot of family that we don't get to see very often. And, uh, yeah, and we was talking about how. Bless the word that you can get to see family and stuff like this in a good time when when it's uh when it what you're not going there to see family like that for a funeral. One of his brother-in-law, like Uncle mm -hmm. Nathaniel, he was yeah. there. And... Uh, one of his his sister that lives in Birmingham, her husband, uh, uh, her children and daughter-in-law and uh, nieces and nephews, some uh, uh May May's uh. uh <laughs> They uh, watch me on yeah. Oh, they, they watch her on YouTube as well. And she got got a good fan base right there. Just in that that group, they really talks about her her uh, recipes and things that they cook and that they can can uh, follow them real well and, and make stuff that she so puts out for. I felt so hard to have them say that. Well, I we, feel well, we really, that's right. I know you did it. I felt <laughs> I felt good for it. The kids were just saying saying like that, and all of them wanted to take pictures with May May and. And all that type of thing, and they was eighteen. Mm -hmm. They was young yeah, ladies. They, they, they was eighteen, and one was the one you probably thought was the youngest. Was I think she was twenty-one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we actually had had a, had a nice time, and 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 Dad did. He really enjoyed it. seeing a lot of my uh, his children and stuff that was in the area. Sister and her children from Talladega, and her husband from Talladega was there. He had a. Uh, uh, yeah. One of Dad's sisters, some of his children, her children from Atlanta was there, and some that was from Montgomery was there. And Gary and, have a nephew mm -hmm. that's, that is a minister mm -hmm. from Columbus, Georgia. From Columbus, he was there Georgia, with his right. uh, his friend, and mm -hmm. it was it was just yeah, it, wasn't, a, it was a nice crowd for it not to be mm -hmm. planned. Yeah. No sooner, I mean, it wasn't. He they didn't really do a big planning up yeah. because it's Daddy's birthday, and they know how he is, and you don't want to be making somebody uncomfortable and and unhappy on the day that you're supposed yeah. to be celebrating him but I, I tell him it wasn't nothing but God's was will because my, my son and daughter had just they had came the week before but uh you know Birmingham is uh Montgomery is not too far from Birmingham so both of them came back they mm -hmm. my son said he would have liked to bring, bring you know his have brought his uh wife and his um two daughters, you know, to see their great, 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 a great, what is it, great, great granddaddy. But yeah, uh, yeah. like I say, they, you know, they didn't do a whole lot of planning on it. And uh, and then uh, Tux, you know, they just, was, and his sister just wanted to make sure they had something for him. But I told him, I said, y'all did a wonderful job the way you did it. And, and it was just like, it really, it was just like the kind of, out and that daddy would like. He don't like all that big, you know, yeah. fancy stuff. It was beautiful. But the main thing, he enjoyed it. He, he talked about it for a couple of days after that. He asked me the very next day, because I used to try to check on him every day. He said, uh, you have a good time yesterday? I said, I, I did. I, I, did. I, I had good times. I'm glad I went, just like that. And you know what he said to me? Not to say that, y'all, he told me, he said, uh, he said, Carl, you was up there when they had that, where they had that party from, yeah. He said, well, you the one gave me that rocking chair? I said, no, Daddy, uh, uh, your daughter's son, you gave you the rocking chair, but you had said that you wanted another one, and I'm going, he said, I know somebody had said they were going to get me another, another rocking chair because I want two of them. I want two, so when I'm sitting this, if somebody, while I'm sitting out here on this little shed that they sit in, and and somebody come up, he said, that then I have I can let them sit in the other chair. <laughs> he I tell you what, he's comedian about a lot of stuff that my sister offered him a rocking chair and everything. And he called me, he came up with me and, and me and May May and he comes in and he he's a he's a gay. He said, Go over there, <laughs> go over there, go over there and get that chair before and put it on the truck before she changed her mind. <laughs> And that just took it the day I told everybody what he said. He said, go get it for you to change your mind. And she had, he had some nice gifts from, yeah, from sure the family did. and everything like that, from his sisters and brothers. Uh, he had some brothers and things, did. all that sent him 
uh, those that wasn't able to attend, those some of those that attend, send them some nice gifts and cards and and uh, 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 items that he can use, monetary gifts and a lot of things he receives. So he he really was happy and surprised with that because he has two brothers that sent him uh, nice gifts and stuff like that, and card and sisters. That wasn't able to attend. She sent him a nice card, a yeah, couple of nice cards. She and sent stuff, him a humor, uh, uh, real very humorous, humorous card. card. And I, I won't say it on here, but we read it mm -hmm. to him. And we would have shared it because we did a little video clip. <laughs> and we read yeah. it to Dad. Yeah, and I it wish I could download some of that, guys. But, uh, <laughs> he we, was so funny. It was he, done on the iPad. So and the, the uh, computer we have is is is, is, is IBM. It's not a, it's not a, a Mac. If I had that, that the connectors just didn't work, and I can probably get time to go find the right connector for it, and sometime maybe put something up. But right now we just didn't didn't have what we need to be able to to transfer the pictures over to. But tell them about the that way card. But how Dad was laughing about that Louise card. Yeah. About it's just about the age and stuff. Can yeah. you remember some of uh, it? Yeah, it was. Uh, I'm not gonna say exactly what it was saying, but it's oh, it, grown, that you can remember. Uh, said uh. Let's see now how to go. Uh, say when I read when you're younger. Uh -huh. Say when you're younger, and you it's pay it past gas, the gas, but they use the f word. Say you uh, pretend like you didn't do it, and was and it was well, you uh -huh. you did, or you didn't you pretend like you didn't do it, and say when you get older. You'll do it and don't even know you did. <laughs> yeah, Some way like that. That's that's the way it went, just like that. Say. It was, I can't remember. Say when you're young and you pass gas and do something like that, you pretend like you didn't do it. When you're older and you do it, you then you then don't don't remember that you did it. <laughs> you know? And when when Tuck read read that to him, he would say he would just laugh. So yeah. he said he said that's about the way it is too. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> that's what his sister that that was not able to attend. She sent that uh, well two cars, that and another and. They sent him uh, He's monetary gifts as well. He's very close with his sisters, all his sisters. Yeah, they, his they really uh, keep a check on him. They yeah, sure do. Check on. He is the oldest of the, of the family, uh, all the siblings that's left. Uh, so, some uh, that are a few years older than he had passed on before, you know. He was age. the third oldest, right? But Yeah, but uh, he also has some uh, sisters and, and brothers that have that's younger than him that that have passed on as well. And one of them was the uh, sister 11? the uh, sister that had the, the children that attended the service that was from Montgomery. So we enjoyed it and everything like that. I don't want to uh, prolong it uh, to bore you all with it without seeing pictures and everything of it. But uh, we had a wonderful time. We just uh, thank the Lord that he uh, blessed us to be here and be with our dad 90 years and to be able to get around and do what he said. Uh, our dad is fortunate he's able to do Pretty much everything for himself. There's nothing that he really can't do for himself. He get out and work in his garden or uh, around his yard just about daily. If if my dad is laying around and not moping, doing something, he's not feeling good for some reason. That's and that's rare. But he's got to the point now when he's not feeling good, he's hurting. He'll let you know it. He'll let you know it quick. And he have health mm -hmm. problems. But he, oh, yeah. you know, he don't he don't let that stop. Yeah, he don't let it stop. I wish him. I had that same mentality. You know, as yeah. I get old and stuff like that, you, yeah, you know, it's just issue, like. But he just keep going. He's like the Energizer Bunny. He just keep going and going. Mm. But I know about uh, guys when I was younger, I used to hear the elderly people say to whether the women and stuff they were saying uh, uh, when they would, you know, get sick and stuff and stay out the church for a minute and all that because they weren't able to come. And said when they come back to the church, they'll say, Well, God told us to serve us. He said, Serve him till you uh, die. Not serve him till you get sick and stop. He said, And uh, she said, I'm going to serve him till I, till I leave this world. As long as I'm able to come up into the house, uh, worship, I'm going to be there. That's the reason I, I have problems with the way the people. Have just modernized, just modernized the church, so they just about took God out of it. But we we can't worry about the people what they doing. Long as we know what's right and doing what's right and doing what's just says the Lord, that's what we going to be responsible for, guys. We know right from wrong, and that's God. Just that mere thought, you know, right from wrong, and anything is love is of God, 
and then you know his word. I got the ones that read the scriptures and stuff. You go by his word and not what nobody else said. He said to study to show thyself approved. Put all your trust in no man. He didn't say because they might. He said because they will deceive you. So you, you, you're responsible for your own salvation. So we can't talk about the uh, people in the church doing this and doing that. As long as we continue to do what's right. Don't follow the crowd. Because we know the road to destruction is very heavily traveled. So, you know, I always have been that way. From a young teenager up, because that's, uh, cause my, that's what my grandmama told me. You don't fall in behind that crowd. So that crowd will lead you the wrong way and lead you into, you know, destroying your life. So I don't care what people are doing and how they're doing and whatever. If I know it's not right or I feel that it's wrong, I don't participate. Plain <laughs> simple as that. And I, yeah. I, I have uh, told my, taught my children and my grandkids the same way. And I say, you will be so happy. And content in yourself. I mean, even when it come to the fashion, the clothes, or whatever, don't be influenced with what the world got going on because we know who's got control of this world right now. Amen. This earth. Okay. Yeah, man, man, you're so right about that. I, I told Dad that uh, he said he lived again, uh, 90 years old. I said, Well, Daddy, you've been blessed, but uh, you know, longevity is kind of a, it's not a, Unusual thing on on on, on uh, my dad's side of the family and his mother's side of the family. We had several family members and stuff that he, uh, that have lived, you know, to get in their nineties. Uh, and some have, have recently, as as a year, year and a half or so ago, passed. You know, that was ninety two. Uh, uh, most of, I remember big about ninety two or ninety three. You have a that, lot of nineties. Yeah, we have, we have several several members on uh, both sides of the family, uh, on their side of the family that they have lived uh, and, to, and, and to see see their ninth birthday better. So we're going to go ahead and try to close that because I just heard some thunder going on there and uh, May May said that uh, I ran into some rain coming back this way and, uh, and it is forca forecast to have some uh, uh, kind of income weather here today. So we're going to try to close this up. I'm going to try to get this video up today. Don't know that I will, if not, maybe tomorrow, but we're going to do our best to try to get it up uh, this afternoon. Let me say something to them real mm -hmm. quick, guys. Guys, I had one of my uh, subscribers slash friends, she shared a wonderful video with, I mean, a recipe with me. And I know a lot of you guys like uh, crock pot cooking, but no, I'm not big on it. But I'm going to tweet this. I see, I know some things that I can do to it and... Uh, you know, make it turn out real well. Well, she said, you know, I'm not, I'm sure to be well did uh, good uh, the way she have it prepared. But when I'm fixing something for my family, I don't like waste and stuff. And I know how I don't like I don't like it just put in the crock pot. But I'm I plan on I may get it up this week sometime. I'm gonna have a crock pot a uh, crock pot recipe coming for you guys. So. If, is is you uh you finished up? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, guys, we're going to go ahead on and just end this in video. And make sure you thumbs up my video. Okay. Okay, guys, my video cut out. And uh, like I say, this weather's getting bad. So I'm just going to go ahead on and finish uh doing my little outro. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe to my channel. And share it out and leave me a comment. Um, as to whether or not you guys have some longevity in you with your, uh, uh, you know, older family members and stuff, or uh, the ones that's gone is is still here or gone on. If you had them live a hundred or past a hundred and all that, it's just a blessing. Mm -hmm. So, okay, guys, uh, remember what May May always tell you guys to think positive, use your common sense. And they may love you guys. And bye. Bye, you guys. Have a good day.